better like you're in a thriller Hot cause pump, pump, pump Gorsly figures, they can get so good And show you want to enter, you can turn back to You don't, you don't know where I've been What's going on inside Where the monsters like to come alive, come alive You love her A haunted, haunted house Oh, could you love me now? A haunted, haunted I'm a haunted house A haunted, haunted house If you're too scared, get out A haunted, haunted I'm a haunted house On my wall saying that you better turn around Be the first to try to burn me down Your boo, you too Could you love me at my worst Till the coffin's in the dirt Try to break me like a curse You know that will never work I'm a little bit So she goes on to say BHB has appeared on and or BHB's comments have been published in local, national, and international publications, including but not limited to the New York Post, New York Times, Inside Edition, 48 Hours, 48 Hours Australia, News Nation, Fox News, CNN, and many other smaller and local stations or enterprises. This is page four, <laughs> and she hasn't even mentioned Queen Bee yet. Okay. BHB has co commented or committed her career to helping her community locally, which has flourished into a full-time career that requires BHB to travel throughout the United States <laughs> of America, covering true crime cases and providing resources sponsored by BHB's channel to those family in need. But she claims that she's a hermit and can't travel for court. Hmm. Kind of funny, right? If somebody were to come to you and say, I have this, this horrible thing that happened, this is what I need. If you truly want to help that person, you're going to say, okay, great. And you're going to help them with what they say they need. Her running around and doing all this extra stuff that wasn't asked for and isn't needed, isn't helping the situation. It's, it's just advertising her channel because all of these t-shirts and keychains and banners, they all have her logo on it. She finally, on the end of the fourth page, finally talks about Queen Bee. Queen Bee runs multiple YouTube channels and has repeatedly published defamatory statements about BHB on those channels, but she doesn't name them. Queen Bee has predominantly targeted BHB over the last 20 months so that Queen Bee can publicly condemn and shame BHB on her channel outlined in more detail below. Except there is no detail below. It's just bitching. On or about January 5th, 2022, it appears to be the first defaming video Queen Bee produced about Bullhorn Betty. <laughs> Queen Bee has received around 590 views since its date. Queen Bee, live stream, January 5th, 2022. Bullhorn Betty is mentioned a total of five times in the stream. Let's review. Here we go. Um, into the Summer Wells case. <laughs> I uh, I didn't think I was going to be jumping down this hole, but here we are. And tomorrow is the big day for Moose Knuckle and... Um, blowjob Betty to be protesting at the TBI. So I guess we'll have to see how that goes. First of all, Betty is not her real name. Second, that is what is called a non-actionable insult. It is a subjective statement that cannot be determined as true or false. It is also hyperbolic and sarcastic, not defamation. Actionable slander or defamation consists of objectively false statements that can be taken literally, which are not obviously hyperbolic or sarcastic, such as, name is convicted of selling drugs to children. And I mean, out there in the backwoods and the hollers, they don't, they do not, um, 
they don't tell you know what I'm saying? They don't they don't like outsiders in their business for one. For two, they're not gonna just like Laura said, she wants to go down there and have drinks with Don because she thinks he's gonna get drunk and open up to her and spill all the beans. Uh no. <laughs> no. It's not how any of that works. It's not how any of that fucking works, Laura. It's just not how it works. <laughs> like what the fuck? These people don't want you down there. They don't want you around. They don't want you buying their drinks. They don't, they don't like, they don't want your kind around. You dig what I'm saying? They don't fucking like your kind, Laura, Molly, Bullhorn. They don't fuck with y'all. They don't like y'all. They don't fuck with your kind. They don't want you bitches down there. This statement is not defamatory because it is true. 27 days before this statement by Queen B, December 9th, 2021. Candace Wells filed a criminal trespassing complaint on MGL, Betty, JLR, and Olivia, stating they had trespassed on her property for two days, taking videos of their private residence. I look in these trips to see what we can accomplish, how we can help solve a problem. There's a problem when we come out to a job, you know, that means that somebody's either missing or dead. And if we can give the, anybody just a little bit of information that can help solve that case, just a, just a little bit, we've done our job well. If law enforcement doesn't start doing something and start you know, letting people know what's going on, because right now we feel that this child has been failed for six solid months, nothing has yeah. moved on this case, and if we need to start applying pressure, we're gonna start applying pressure. This was a, a fact-finding mission This after a group of Wells mom actually called police to the family home last week. This group of YouTubers showed up on the property. Well, now that group tells us they were there with cameras recording and what they call an effort to put pressure on Summer's parents and on police. Sam Luther talking with them tonight about whether they're working against or for this investigation. Where could she possibly be? That's Marissa Zadinsky, better known on the internet as Molly Go Whiteley. The YouTuber says she runs a nonprofit called Heels on the Ground. And what we do is we protest to get answers. Based in Pennsylvania, but in Hawkins County, last week for three days, trying to get answers about what happened to Summer Wells. Here they are in the Beach Creek community with cameras rolling, walking near the Wells property. Okay, we're here. But once these videos hit the internet, Candace Bly filed a trespassing complaint with the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office. So I don't believe that Candace Bly is, has the nerve to walk into Hawkins County Police to try and press charges on me. What's it going to be, a fine? I would love to see this woman face to face. Zadinsky says Heels on the Ground travels the country trying to put pressure on families that they feel have information in missing person cases. Most recently, this group was outside of the home of Brian Laundry, placing this dirty laundry basket at the family's front door, asking them to speak. I, I laid it out for them. I said, your life will never be the same again if you don't start talking. And the next day she came out and spoke to my friends. But no such luck yet in Hawkins County. Zadinsky says this is her full-time job, making money off YouTube and other sites. She says they don't interfere with law enforcement. However, they work alongside them. We've reached out to authorities involved in the Summer Wells case to ask if these efforts help or hurt their investigation. We're still waiting to hear back. I'm willing to take an arrest charge. I'm not a criminal, uh, but I'm willing to take an arrest charge to find Summer Wells. In Knoxville, Sam Luther, WVLT News. Well, Dzinski says in January, the group is actually planning to protest outside of TBI headquarters, essentially asking them to hold the Wells family accountable and bring them into police custody. A month before Queen Bee made that statement, the Wells had already stated publicly they did not want YouTubers on their property. Fast forward almost a month to the day after Queen Bee's stream mentioned in the lawsuit. January 6, 2022, MGL, JLR, Olivia, and Betty returned to tennis anyway. They got Don and Candace Wells fired from their job. 
Several protesters yelled at the parents of Summer Wells as they worked on a home in the Edinburgh Park community of Kingsport. Oh, it's scary. It's scary, for sure. I mean, Candace was in tears and she was shaking and all that. She's scared. The group heard yelling profanities at the parents and loudly claiming the parents had something to do with Summer's disappearance. Uh, let the police do their job. I mean... I feel that they're just making a mockery out of everything for their YouTube channel and personal gain. I don't think they really, they pretend that they're, they're all about summer and they care about summer, but I think, I think otherwise. But Wells says today was not the first time he's seen the protesters. From his front porch this weekend, several hundred feet from the road, he could hear protesters screaming over bullhorns. You know, the protesters, you know, been coming to our house probably six times in total and just making a mockery out of everything. Are you afraid for your life? Well, I mean, there at first it was very scary. It could be bad. It could be dangerous. It has been. But uh, we just want to get back to normal. And Wells says the protesters' presence has been taxing. I remember my stomach being in a knot just constantly and not being able to sleep. And if I did sleep, when I woke up, the first, as soon as I wake up, first thing on my mind is summer, worse summer, and just begging God, just constantly, just, you know, just, that was my baby, my little girl. And she was always with me. Wells keeps in contact with investigators, not giving up hope. I even hear from people time to time where TBI has contacted them because there's, cell phone happened to ping in the area. So I know that they're still working and they're still looking into things. Come on, Candace, come out here and talk to us about your daughter. What'd you do with her? Hey, what did you do with your daughter? Right this is public property. I know you have that first amendment right, but you can't be considered... Then fire him from the job. Fire him from the job. You don't need him. a baby. He, he buried his baby somewhere. We want to know where she's at. Where's your baby? We're on public property. Right there, in the window. We're on public property right now. Come on. Police. Do you even know what happened? Yeah, we know. I've known Wales for years. Yeah. So, why are you, are you kidding me? You realize that, they, that, that the baby drowned at that watering hole. They did something to her. Yes, we do. Go watch, go watch my channel. I can't believe, I can't believe you believe their shit. That's okay. He told us he wanted to meet us. He didn't specifically say here. We're just sick of, we're sick of. Yeah, nine o'clock at night. No cameras alone. Hey, get over here. Let's get out of here I'm on the river. So, what do you think about today? It was insane. We were um, riding by this house where Don and his girls were working at, and we did a peaceful protest. Um, they called the police, Candace and Don, and um, their boss actually fired them. We're not sure if they were fired from all of their jobs, but from this house, they you know they got fired from, so they had to leave. Are you going to be losing any sleep over the fact that he was fired? I didn't lose. I slept like a baby last night. And then he goes on. He goes on the news and talks about himself. Well, poor me, poor me, poor me. What about your daughter? He had a great opportunity there in front of media to talk about Summer, to put her name in the spotlight. And it was all oh, poor me, poor me. I'm just trying to make a living. Should have thought about that before you did something to your daughter, Don. We are crazy and we are coming for you. We will pull out all stops. We're crazy in the lawful sense. I want to make sure people don't miss my words. I mean, we have applied uh, some pressure being here. Um, you know, at least Don now doesn't get to move around freely. He's he's fired. That means we cut off his finances. You know, less drugs, less alcohol. You know, less gas to 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 do what you want to do and dead of night when police aren't looking. You know, we do, we do, we're very strategic in our planning. Um, the cherry on top was him, him not being able to hurt any other children on the job site. We don't know what he's capable. Like, people don't know what he's capable of. Don was there at work. I personally don't go to my husband's job. 
Oh, maybe she was keeping an eye on him. Maybe she was helping. Yeah, I she was helping. You think she was helping? Yeah. She doesn't have any kids. She doesn't have any kids, right? She doesn't have any kids. Did you get him fired? Well, that wasn't my intention, but Bullhorn Petty's really proud. And took photos of a child inside a church, resulting in a police report. The police report indicates this incident took place on January 8th, 2022. Port Police, though, right now. Story we've been watching for you for the past several days, investigating after video recorded of a child inside a church the family of Summer Wells attends was posted on YouTube. According to a report, officers were told Sunday that a woman posted footage of a child at the church to YouTube. That video, though, has been taken down. The five-year-old, though, has been missing since June 15th. The Wells family has been under intense scrutiny by investigators and the public since Summer Wells went missing. The police report filed by an unnamed person says the recording incident occurred earlier in the month and when asked, Father Don Wells confirmed an incident had occurred at the Kingsport Seventh-day Adventist Church but did not elaborate. Several parts of the report are redacted because it contains information about an underage child. But the person behind the report says a woman who allegedly shot the video made accusations of kidnapping. Monday, Don Wells said protesters had come to the family's home and had followed Summer's mother. MGL, JL, R, and Bullhorn Betty then admit to recording in the church. A pamphlet. Oh, do we have proof that we were inside? Yeah, we All got right. proof we were inside. I made a video. Uh, I think they changed the way they do their uh, 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 programming in them. They used to live stream it, and I think they still do, but they don't show the faces of the people that are uh, in the church. Um. So when it's over and they come out, we're going to ask questions, you know. No video. No. No video. No video. Uh-oh, here we go. How are you? So I went in there. Then he emphasized no recording, whatever, whatever. Absolutely. Uh, then when yeah, the church has public videos. Yeah, right. They can, uh, didn't matter. I got, I got church service on, uh, the cams. I got church service on the cams. Good service. So... Back to the January 5th Queen Bee stream, Bullhorn Betty names in the lawsuit. And you know what? Voices was I'm not trying to explain that away. She's trying to, oh yeah, when she was like, oh, I, like I didn't even know it was something bad. Like, how in the world do you not know that? that like, there's no way she didn't know that she can get in trouble for that. Bullhorn asked MGL what her problem today was because she is always mad about something that doesn't sound like a match made in heaven. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> they're going to break up soon. I see it coming already. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Not defamation. Not like, she's obviously <laughs> trying to hide it because it's like, you could tell it was like in a pocket or like down low right. as far as they couldn't see it. Like recording this whole conversation she's having about Benny. Oh, that part where, where Molly's like, hey, um, do you mind if I record you? And then she they talk to those people and then when they pulled away, she's like, they're like, don't ask anybody to record them. Just record them. <laughs> what? For once, Molly's doing the considerate thing and they're like, don't do that. Yeah, well, like, it depends on okay. if it's like a one or two party state, then you get in major trouble. With that. Yeah, they don't you think anybody you record and you just record them. Jonathan's like, yeah, you don't tell anybody. <laughs> You're just going to put mean, it on YouTube. Look at their records, Kate. They obviously don't <laughs> care. Oh, since, since we're going to be Judgy Judy's over here, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I do the same thing, right? Shit. Yeah, they're the most hypocritical three ever. So annoying. Yeah, and I don't know how they but plan so on like everything they complain about, they're doing the same thing or like right. everything. Like literally everything. Like what if something like this happened to Molly's kid? What would would she want people out there with blowhorns? What what the fuck would she do if we pulled up and started blowhorning her fucking ass outside of her house and she's oh, breathing and dealing with her kid? I bet you money that I could oh. find at least one neighbor of each one of them that didn't like them. So let's let's go take your neighbor's account for what's going on in your house. 
I'd like to see that happen. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm sure that any of us could probably find somebody that didn't care for us. Like especially those those the, those fucking three right there. You know, there's got to be some people on their block that don't like them. Oh yeah. Not defamation. Betty's not even personally mentioned. Just use of a bullhorn. Right, and then Molly will refuse to pay taxes ever again. Ever again. Because if Dog the Bounty Hunter finds him, I will never pay taxes again. <laughs> that was the quote of 2021. I'm serious. <laughs> Did you guys see uh, Bullhorn Betty's bullshit letter to the judge? In the DNA no. no. Then the will put up here. She just kept repeating herself and shit. Hold on a second. Not defamation. Queen B did not even say Betty's name. This only disproves BHB's point. So BHB is like, I was defamed over the entire world, but then says that B Queen B only had 590 views. It says over the next 14 months, subsequent to Queen B's first video, Queen B's commentary became increasingly more aggressive towards BHB. She shows no examples of this. 24. Over the next 14 months, subsequent to Queen Bee's first video, Queen Bee incited her audience more often and with more damaging language design, I think she means designed, to elicit emotional responses from them in an effort for them to attack BHB on BHB's channel daily. Um, you have to prove that this was premeditated. You can't just, she would have to prove Queen Bee's intent, which is one, incredibly hard to do, and two, uh, she didn't prove that. You you can't prove that. 